Hi everybody, we're out here at Glen Helen Raceway Park. We're doing some testing today on Dr. X on Fabtex racing vehicles here. We've got these pro light trucks, and this is Dave Winter, the owner of Fabtech. This is his son Corey. They have the cars here, they race professionally, so we're gonna do a little interview here with them. Dave, what's the main problem you have with the race trucks with the mud and stuff? What causes a lot of problems in the rust and stuff? Explain to the people what in detail costs after you're done working on the trucks, how much cleaning time you gotta have, all that kind of stuff. Well, of course, when you come out here, they have to have the truck muddy. The track's muddy. The reason the track is muddy is the traction. Um, and of course, half the mud's caked on the truck after it comes off the race course. And then, of course, the mud's wet. Wet mud on the raw steel, underneath of that mud, it's wet, it's gonna rust the steel. So you have two problems. You have the mud for the weight of the vehicle, we have to scrape all the mud off between rounds and bring it to a test. And then after that, the trucks start rusting. So basically the tube on this chassis is chromoly, correct? It's all chromoly. It's all raw. We don't paint them. You have to check for cracks and so on. And you know, the, if you have paint, you have to sand it all off the paint to weld it. So you know, most of all your race cars are completely raw. So basically what's the process? After you're done scraping the mud off, you go home, the chassis rusts up, what's the process that you guys do? Both us, just like other teams, we go home, we pressure wash the truck, we tear the whole truck down, pressure wash it, and uh, we pull it back in the shop. Most of the time, you know, pressure washing raw steel, it'll rust within 24 hours. So the rule of thumb basically is the Scotch Bright W40. That's what everybody does. Right. How many day? How, how much time does it actually take to do this this whole truck? You have to tear it apart, the Scotch Bright, and all this stuff. What's the average time? Once the truck's torn apart, all the things are torn apart. That's the job in itself. It'll take one person crawling both of them much of a whole day to do it. Okay. Yeah, Corey came down, Corey here, Corey came from the shop the other day, and he scotched part of his truck all day and then put it out. Wow. Okay, so it's a full day of work. It's a full day, yeah. Corey? Yeah. 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 Sure. So, <laughs> when you're doing the trucks, Corey, and you drive on the track, and you feel the mud getting on the truck and stuff, you can feel it slowing down, can't you? Yeah. Takes a, a, a bit of horsepower, you get a little less control. So, what we're doing today, folks, is we're going to do some testing out here at the track. We're going to do some certain parts on this vehicle right now with the rust remover neutralizer sealer on there. See if it keeps the rust from coming back and also keeps the mud from sticking to the truck, which will keep the weight off, which will give it more performance on the track. So right now we're going to go over here and I'm going to do some testing right now on this back panel right now. This is an aluminum panel. It's already clean, so I'm going to put the sealer on this and we're going to check to see if this is going to keep the mud from packing on this when we hit the track. What we're going to do is I'm going to spray it on here. And that won't hurt anything. You put your hands on it. Biodegradable. We're just gonna soak this metal real good. And I'm gonna let it set. Okay? We're not gonna do the other side. We're gonna leave it bare on the other side. So this side's gonna be the one that's gonna be done. So driver's side's done. Here's gonna show some spots on his race truck where a lot of the mud picks up on here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray certain sections. Dave, show me which sections are the high mud areas. This section's, a, this section's really a high mud area. Yeah. Back in this section. Yeah. You'll get the link arms, the front of the deferential, side of the frame. It'll okay. cover mud and also rust. And also rust, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, folks, is I'm going to clean these certain areas real quick. This is how easy it is. I'm just going to spray it on. Right in the front. Get up close here, Mr. Cameraman. You can already see the little rust already in the frame. This has been scotch brighted and, and WD-40, and the rust is already coming back. So we're going to clean this section here. Get this opened up. And by the way, guys, you can just use these little spray bottles. Just spray it on like that. Let it sit, you can just wipe it. You'll see the rust come right off the frame. It's pretty much that easy. We'll do these little sections here. Let me let it sit for a couple, two or three minutes. But I'm just gonna do it a little quick here, just wipe it off. You'll see the metal getting cleaned. We'll do the centerpiece here. And do a little bottom under here, right here. And I'm gonna rub that off. Okay, now we're going to go to the back section here, back of the Nerf bar right here, we're going to spray it here, and we're going to see how it's going to hold up on the muddy track. Get the back side of this real quick here. Okay, and now we're going to step over here to the link arm. We'll do a section right here. And the actual trailing arm right here in the back right here. 
Spray some right there. Just on that flat panel part, we're just going to pick up high mud area. So we're just going to spray it on, wipe it off. What we're finding out, folks, is to see if this would keep this metal preserved on this racetrack and also keep mud off of the truck for weight. Alright, let's step here in the back. And you can see on the arm here, the link, that where it's been done and not done. Done, not done. on it. And what you do with the sealers, let it sit on there. Let it absorb into the metal a little bit. Test this and see if it keeps the mud from building up on these wheels because it's really, really, really thick with mud and they gotta pick it and clean it. So I'm gonna Work this on the material. Let it soak for a little bit. I'm gonna wipe her down and get ready to go to the racetrack. Corey here, winners, is gonna be taking this truck out on the track doing some testing. We've already sealed up the dirt bars on the front of the cage here. We've done the trailing arm, the link arm. We've done the little plastic metal thing back here to protect this from mud growth. So Corey, you ready to go out there and have some fun? Oh yeah. Huh? Fun. Got a great life, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. So he's gonna run testing and come back. We're gonna see exactly what happened with the mud on this thing. Cover mud, cover with mud. Now, go to the other side. And show the wheel down here. I sprayed this wheel earlier. You see a lot less mud on it. And over here, you see that the trailing arm is much cleaner than the other side. 